Hi everyone, this is a new video and it's about a police chase. Enjoy watching it. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Your comments and criticism are welcome. For this material, thanks to the channel Police Pursuits. Links to the originals will be in the description. The first chase was a stolen car chase. It took more than half of the video to drive the policeman all the way to the suspect. And that's with the fact that he was occasionally going over 100 miles an hour. The part with the write-up to the suspect, I cut out. This time, it's a careful pit maneuver, with no other drivers around. Bravo! Apparently, after the pit maneuver, the car with the suspect hit some obstacle and caught fire. The suspect got out of the car himself, so the people were unharmed this time. The reason for the chase this time is not very interesting. As I understand it, it is incorrect license plates. The most surprising thing is that the Cadillac is driven by a man with one leg. Bye. 
for some traffic here, waiting on 25. We're only done about 60 now. Going to the traffic waiting for 25, you take primary. Take all the rock show, get dirt to that. Passing the 67 north exit. Uh, we're accelerating now. Probably here at 100 shortly. Moderate traffic. Slowing down about 85 or so, going under the North Hills underpass. Switching to the far left lane, about 90. Right lane about 100. Moderate traffic still. Right lane 100 power traffic. 30 west. Take a 30 west. Driving pretty reckless. The driver on the right was lucky because apparently the policeman driving the charger did not notice him in the middle of the chase. 25's pitted him at where they crash at sites all the time. Overturn. Let me see your hand! I put in this chase to show what happens when a cop gets in the way of a traffic jam. At the end, a perfect pit maneuver.
That's a good question. In order. My job is what YouTube is all about. That is, when monetization was turned off in May and only turned on in August, I was out of work. With YouTube, it's simple. You either spend all your energy and time on it or do something else. Just like in a regular job, if you want to be good at something, you shouldn't spread yourself thin. The war affected my plans in my beginnings, which were to either replace YouTube in the future or become another job. Yes, I'm contradicting myself based on what I've wrote above, but that was the plan. I'm 25. The government of Ukraine does not take just anyone, kinks on the ground of course, but it happens in peacetime as well. In my case, I was just not given a summons, and secondly, I have a dependent father with a disability, that is. For this reason, I will not be taken into the army until some critical need. This is not Russia, where people are dragged into buses from the street. In Ukraine, no one is taken by force into the army. There are still many people who want to do this, and it's better to recruit such guys than those who don't want to fight or can't fight or are involved in helping the army in some other way. At the moment, my main help to the army is trivial. Donations for military drones, weapons, equipment, or vehicles for our armed forces in general, or financial aid to friends who are at the front and need Starlinks, generators, vehicles, and so on. In total, I've given the army equivalent of at least a good new car from the showroom already.